Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Patera here. We want to take you through a video of what we're doing. I am mixing my own homemade chicken scratch. It's a little bit windy out here and the sun is very bright, so we're doing it from this angle with me filming so you can get a better perspective in terms of seeing the grains, okay? I'm filthy anyway, you ain't missing much. We've been putting in posts for our fencing. Okay, so what I've done, if you've seen my previous video, I have taken you through a lot of grains. I taught you uh, to kind of look for different prices and to do the math if you wanna make your own homemade chicken scratch. Chicken scratch traditionally is three grains. Mine today is five. So let me kind of walk you through. I've got these huge bags um, right here next to me. I've already pre-mixed this. I did an equal amount of each item. So understand that right now. So I didn't go with necessarily cost effectiveness. I'm trying to use what I have the most of. Um, some things I've been very conservative with, so I still have a lot of it. So I thought today we would just make it even, Stephen, in terms of what you're seeing here, okay? So that's what a close-up of the mix is looking like right there and i'm going to tell you right now if i was a chicken i would be so ecstatic these guys love these five different grains right here so let me show you what's working for me in terms of getting them all excited first and foremost i'm gonna reach over in this other bag i'm gonna pull it over here is your cracked corn now cracked corn traditionally if you buy it in a 50 pound bag is going to be a little bit more expensive than your whole corn so just want to let you know that it's just a nice thing as a treat um, of course, um, if you give whole corn, not only is it less expensive, but, um, you know, I like to give the cracked corn to some of my smaller babies, you know, things that are more 12, 14, 16 weeks, a little bit smaller. My silkies can handle this really well. So it's nice to have on hand. The next thing I'm going to show you, I know it's going to get dark. I'm trying to not move you too much is we've talked about before is the Milo, okay? This is from your sorghum cane. This is the most expensive, or no, second most expensive, excuse me, of the actual grains here. But I'm telling you, they love it. This is the first time I've ever used it on my farm, and I've been very selective in terms of how much I give it because it's a little bit more expensive. I think it was $12 for a bag, but I'm telling you, again, for your smaller, maybe your banties, your silkies, your small pullets, and, uh, you know, wannabe roos, um, this is really nice. You don't have to really worry about choking. I'm not worried about choking in general, but it, it does ease the mind if you want to give them a treat there. The next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to reach over in another bag, is your standard oats. Now, these are bought locally. So, I, again, I bought all 50-pound bags and I'm mixing, but I want to show you again what they look like. So, that's what we're looking at with your standard oats um, here. And I think this was 8 to $10 a bag, if my memory serves, okay? Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, of course, grains, hello. Your standard grains, right there. You can, oh, look at there, beautiful. So we've got this mixed in there. They love this, they love all of this. Um, you know, I was sort of curious to see if they would like something more than others. And really, to be honest with you, I can't say, honestly, they gobble the corn up probably first and then they go after the Milo. And then to, for this time, with this mix, I'm reaching over. Um, I have put in an equal amount of Boss black oiled sunflower seeds. Now, traditionally, this is double, if not triple, the price of anything else you're seeing here. Um, but because I've been very, you know, I don't use it as much, um, I thought today we would just go crazy with the mix and make it even. So this is what I've got in here right now. An equal amount, pretty much, of all of these items. It's gorgeous. But also, in addition to that, I am sprinkling in your diatomaceous earth. This is Permagard white fossil flower. This is your traditional DE. Uh, this is your white food grade. It is incredibly awesome. Folks, I'm telling you, I'm gonna do a whole vid and show you some pictures of some things that this right here has done for my farm. Hope I completely um, support you using it, uh, you know, and I think you need to investigate that for your chickens, your dogs, your cows, the whole nine yards. We just don't have the issues other farms do. And I'm telling you, I think it's because we do put DE in their feeds, in their treats, you know, in the barn. We don't go crazy, but it works. That's my stance. Also in this mix, I have mixed in a little bit of garlic powder. I put this also in, a, in the feed. So just some standard garlic powder. All right, and last but not least, I have already mixed in also, if you've seen this before, is your sea kelp. 
yummy for them, so good. Um, it's just really great to, you know, to put a little bit in their food and in their treats. Um, it is organic, um, and you can turn it over, and you can just see all of the things that it has in there. So this has been sitting in my barn, so of course, um, it's got a little bit of uh, dust on the bag. But you can see right there, it talks about mixing in a fourth of a cup into 11 pounds, okay? Um, so there you go right there, um, a feed right there. So I don't know if I've got a full 11 pounds here, but I can definitely put you, tell you that I've got at least a fourth of a cup. So we did it right about right. So this is what we've got going on here. So I like to throw uh, a little scoop in the mornings out for my uh, girls and guys, and then I also give them one in, in the evening. I do not let this be, this is not their standard feed. This is not something that I just let them free range on. It is a treat. And to keep the protein up, because traditionally all of this that's in here, except for the sunflower seeds, is only gonna be about 8% protein. We've talked about that before, but this is the sunflower seeds is gonna give you that big protein boost. So I hope this helped you out. We're about to go give some treats. You know what's gonna happen. They're gonna love it. If you like what you see here at Appalachia's Homestead, be sure to like and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We appreciate you being here. We hope this helped you out. Y'all take care and spring is on the way. chicken